Hey you guys, it's me Linwood and today I am going to show you how to do the scaled knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. If you have not seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the I in the top right corner over here and we are going to just dive right in. So this is the scaled knot and it was aptly named so by many of my subscribers who follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. This was the most popular name I got, so scaled knot it is. I'm gonna go ahead and deconstruct this baby and then we will get started. Okay, you guys, so this is a regular length tie and I have my blade on my right side, my tail is on my left side and I have the image flipped for your viewing pleasure. So when I say on the right, it's also on your right. When I say on the left, it's also on your left. I'm going to start off by creating a power crease on the right side in the blade and pulling it to the center. I'm going to go ahead and move the tail end from the left over the top and over to the right. I'm going to wrap around the back. I'm going to go ahead and wrap from the front and just come up from the front down through the center. And this is going to kind of create my foundation for this knot. From here, I'm going to just go ahead and bring this tail end from the right to the center and then we're going to create our L shape by pulling this baby up just like this. And now I'm just going to go ahead and tuck it right on through the middle and bring it on over to the left side. From there, I'm going to go ahead and cross it over to the center again from the left. Fold it up one more time. And down through the center. And we're going to continue this process all the way until you run out of tie. So if you are a taller gentleman, you'll just have slightly less scales on your tie. But we're just repeating this same process over and over. It should almost look like a braid or like a zipper in the middle. A lot of people will say that this favors like an Eldridge knot. Um, I have heard that. And I mean, I can kind of see it. Some people say it favors artichoke knot, which to me, this is the one it's closest to is the artichoke knot. And that's just because of the uh, rhythmic pattern of how you're moving it. Okay, so this is going to be my last one. I'm just bringing it down through the middle like so. Now from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right underneath here and find this loop. So it's going to take a little bit of work. I'll pull that baby down. And once I've pulled it down and got my finger through there, I'm just going to insert the tail in right through that loop that I created just like so. And then we'll go ahead and pinch that out. Let's give it a nice little tug just to make sure it's snug. And then from there, I can get into my adjusting. So to me, it almost looks like a fishtail braid. Um, I see where people are talking about with the scales. Someone told me they look like the scales of like a dragon's tail, which I think looks pretty cool. And here we have it. So this is the scaled knot. And of course, um, it's not too difficult. So hopefully if you have a little bit more difficulty with some of my other knots, hopefully this one will be a bit easier for you. Of course, as always, let me know what you think in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and take care. You're fancy now. Bye-bye.